Hi there, it's Tiffany from Daisy Farm Crafts, and today I'm just doing a really short stitch tutorial of this um, half double crochet cluster stitch that's worked across two stitches. And I really like the texture that this um, brought, so I thought I would show you what I'm doing. Plus, I probably will be using it in a future blanket project. So, um, I'm just going to start with 10 chains. You can start with any number of chains. And of course, grab any yarn, anything works. We're just learning this stitch today. So you're going to start in the third chain from the hook with a half double crochet. I mean, yarning over like you're doing a half double crochet. Inserting your hook, yarning over and pulling up a loop, then yarning over and inserting your hook into the next chain space. Then yarning over and pulling through all five loops on your hook. That's the cluster. That's like a regular half double crochet cluster, but I'm working it across two stitches. So inserting my hook now into the chain space that I just had worked, if that's the best way to explain it, before I move forward. So then I'm gonna yarn over and now work into the next chain space. So it's kind of like the first leg of the cluster, yarning over, the first leg is going to be worked into the last chain space you just were in. Yarning over, pulling up a loop, then yarning over, and then working over into the next chain space. Okay, so just kind of, that's how you, you kind of back up and then move forward. It's kind of how maybe you could think about it. Insert your hook into the chain that you just were there, then yarn over and work into the next one. So I'm just going to work across the row, and I think that the, really the trickiest spot for me was where to start on the next row. So here I am even doing the same right into the very last stitch. And like I say, any number of chains will work, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. So that's it, we've worked across the row. Now I'm going to chain two and turn my work like a page in the book. And this is where I, at first, I was working into here and that actually decreased my row. What you need to do is work your first leg underneath those two chains. Do you see that little loop right there? That's where I'm inserting my hook. Then I'm pulling up a loop. Then I'm working into the next space. So I would say that was the only tricky thing about this stitch. Now you've got all these big giant holes to work into of the half double crochet and you're home free. It is such a great little stitch and I love the, just gave, it's just a little bit of puff. And I'm excited to kind of get designing with this new stitch. I'm loving the options. My brain is on fire with all these options. Okay, let's just make sure you've got those two chains you, you skipped and you, you'll be able to see these two horizontal bars work right in between them. That's your last stitch. Make sure you hit that. There you go. Chain two and turn. You are on your way. Start again right underneath these turning chains for your first stitch. And you've got it. So half double crochet cluster across two stitches.